Hey all, welcome to the final part, fletching. Do you often have veins falling off? Are you scared to go like this with your arrows? Stay tuned. Now for this part, I'll be using the Bonning Multi-Fletch. This thing has changed my life. I have the Blitzenberg gathering dust up on the shelf there. The speed and accuracy the Multi-Fletcher offers is amazing. It comes with a bunch of different jigs from straight to helical to feather jigs. So the two parts I think people mess up when fletching are the glue, how much to use and how to apply the glue. And then the second thing is the shaft preparation. So first off, we're gonna get the shafts ready. And it's as simple as getting a pad and some acetone and rubbing them down. Once you've finished wiping them down, make sure you place it in a way where you can grab the tip end easily. We no longer want to be grabbing the knock end with our hands. Once you have the shafts all rubbed down, you're ready to go. Some people like to rub them a little bit with sandpaper, but for me, I don't think it's needed. If it makes you happy, just do it. So sit your shaft in your fletching jig of choice. Make sure you did not handle the end that you are fletching on. Check that the fletching dial is clicked in and not half cocked. Sit your vein in your jig and now we'll take a look at the gluing. So this is how I do it and I haven't had a vein fall off in a very long time. Take a Q-tip and rip all the cotton off one end. You're going to use this to push the glue down the length of the vein. So with the vein sitting in the jig, I put a little bead of glue like this. And then using the Q-tip, I just push the glue down the foot of the vein. Then all you do is snap it on. Leave it there for about five to 10 seconds. This will of course depend which glue you're using and what sort of jig you're using. Now we just pull the jig off, rotate the dial, and rinse and repeat. Depending on the glue you're using will depend on how long you should leave the arrows to set. I like to leave them at least 12 hours, but I honestly think you could probably shoot them after an hour. Now an important note, if it's needed, do not rotate the knock yet. You're going to need to test the veins before you head outdoors with them. Don't just pretend they're all going to be perfect. Bend them down and listen for any cracking noises. It's better to fix them now than later on. You've got all the gear out here and your buddies don't see your fletchings falling off while you're inside. If you have to fix one, do it now because the knock hasn't been moved, everything's gonna be in line for the jig still. If you're moving the knock around, it puts it all out in line in the jig and it's very hard to line everything back up again. Or maybe you get lucky and it's just a little section that's lifted and you can put some glue underneath it and press it back down again. There should be no cracking noises and you should be confident to squeeze the veins into your shaft. You can bend them over to check as well, but if you're heading out the door and you don't want to touch your veins, you've done it wrong. I hope this has helped. I hope now you have no more veins falling out, no more inserts coming out either. Please hit that like and subscribe button. I'm Matt, this is The Meat Hunters. Thank you very much. I hope your season's going well. Cheers.